Hello everyone, I'm Express and today I'm going to show you how to stop Windows 10 from spying on you and also how to disable Windows Automatic Updates as well as Windows Defender. Now, I'll be using a freeware software called Do Not Spy 10. The link is in the description, so download it and install it on your PC. Now, once you've done with that, run the application. Now, I highly suggest that you copy my settings for the best performance. But now I'll go through all of these real quick to let you know what they are about. Okay, so the first section right here, advertising. Um, you can disable all of these, but so far I've disabled just this one and it's been working fine. So disable just this one or all of them, it doesn't matter. You'll get rid of all of these stupid Windows suggestions. Now moving on to apps. Here, disable access to account info, calendar, leave camera on. I also leave contacts on because sometimes uh, I use this. So if you're using this to synchronize your contacts, leave this on. Access to diagnostic data, also leave this enabled because it might come in handy once you are diagnosing your PC for errors. Moving on, uh, disable access to documents, email, file system, language list, location info, and messaging. I leave this um, access to microphone and noti notifications enabled since I use both of these. Um, disable access to phone call history, pictures, radios, tasks, videos, app notifications. Disable all of these. And here, this one, this one is important. Disable application telemetry. Uh, the application telemetry, engine application telemetry tracks anonymous usage of specific Windows system components by applications, so disable it. Um, here, disable background applications. This is also important as it can free up a lot of uh, resources. So let me just show you if I type in background apps and re-enable this so all of these can now run in background and take up my resources which obviously I do not want so disable them push to install if you're using this um, for example using your Xbox to install something on your Windows PC then leave this on but most of the users don't use this option so you can disable it um, disable silent installed apps. Let's say you're playing a game and the Windows decides to install Candy Crush in the background. So if you disable this, that won't happen. Um, disable sync with devices. Uh, this tweak prevents apps from sharing and syncing info with wireless devices that are not paired with your PC. I'm not using this, so I'll disable it. And here we come to Windows Defender. Now, I personally do not use Windows Defender. I use Bitdefender and Type Virus. And I highly suggest that you use some other free antivirus like AVG instead of the Windows Defender. So disable Windows Defender by clicking on all of these. And that's it. Moving on to Edge, I personally do not use Edge, I use Chrome. So this here, disable pre-launching, this is important, especially if you're not using Edge, so you can definitely disable this, uh, as this disables pre-launching at Windows Startup. So if you're not using Edge, there's really no need for this. Um, here, I'll, I've also disabled Adobe Flash Player, as here it says that Flash Player is known for its frequent security issues. Now, if you're using Edge, I just recommend disable this pre-launching. You'll obviously need the Flash Player. Now you can disable Cortana, but if you're using it, leave it on. Going over to Privacy, okay, disable Activity Feed, important. Here, Biometrics. 
you can disable this if you're not using it uh, but for example if you have a laptop and it has a fingerprint sensor in order to use it properly you'll need to leave this option enabled okay clipboard history i like to leave this on because i use the clipboard okay disable experimentation no need for microsoft to experiment on my pc here disable facts tips blah 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 okay handwriting data sharing no need to send microsoft that data uh, error reporting you can turn it off but if you're diagnosing or if you have some problems with handwriting i guess you'd want to have this enabled so do as you wish with this okay disable help make make narrator better inventory collector kms client online validation i have disabled this and have activated all of my licenses perfectly fine so i guess it's safe to disable this as well disable location service cloud sync i'm not using microsoft's cloud services such as onedrive so i've disabled this and here we come to OneDrive. Okay, I've disabled OneDrive and its network traffic um, pre-user sign-in. Since, like I said, I do not use it. If you use OneDrive and want to keep using it, leave this enabled. Okay, disable publishing of user activities. Definitely disable this. Disable sending writing info. Okay, disable that. Now I've disabled this um, smart screen filter filter for URLs and you can enable this if you need it disable tailored experience using diagnostic data disable tips about Windows typing insights uh, definitely disable this upload of user activities here we have uh, Wi-Fi sense some people use this some don't um, here you can see it says this feature is enabled by default and allow windows to share share your wi-fi credentials without any user interaction so if you're using a laptop and you're um, using wi-fi most of the time at some cafes or something like that i would definitely disable this okay moving on disable windows customer experience improvement program uh, also disable windows feedback requests here we have disable Windows Spotlight. I do not need it, so I've disabled it. Okay, uh, search here. Now I have disabled uh, Cortana, disabled Cloud Search, disabled Getting to Know Me, but I've left this um, web search enabled just in case. Start. Um, I like to use these options. Um, show recently open applications and recently open files as this can come in handy when you are going through multiple files like word or something else so i like to keep this enabled and here we are windows updates um, here if you wish to completely disable windows updates check all of these now i have left the automatic driver update enabled However, I have disabled Windows Update Sharing and what this does is it disables me from sending installation files or Windows updates to other PCs on my network or other networks. So if you wish to leave the updates enabled, you can safely um, disable Windows Update Sharing and um, free up some of your bandwidth. And once you're done with all of the settings, click on apply. It'll ask you to create a restore point, which I definitely suggest you do. And that's it. Reboot, you'll be done. If something's wrong, you can always restore your Windows with this um, Dino Spy program. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If this helps you, leave a like and comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.